design can probably withstand that. So it's a matter of scientific testing. I have the data, I'll, I'll want it open. Anyone who will claim otherwise should disprove the data that we have. Before we proceed, please pause and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you will be notified of our latest videos. And we thank you for that. Otherwise, should disprove the data that we have. Sa probinsya ng Bataan, ito ay ang Bataan Nuclear Power Plant na huling na inspeksyon para sa kaligtasan noong 1985 ng International Atomic Energy Agency. Inaasahan sanang makapagbigay ang planta ng 623 megawatt na kuryente, ngunit di pa rin ito binuksan simula noong nangyari ang 1986 EDSA Revolution. Ang nuclear power plant na ito ay tinaguri ang pinakauna sa Southeast Asia. Regarding the, the nuclear power plant, you know, the, we have done independent tests on it precisely because uh, it was closed uh, for the reasons that are geological, that it's on a fault and uh, it's close to a volcano. I could not accept that uh, a 2.3 billion US dollar uh, plant uh, could have geologic reasons for not being operated. So I have done independent tests, which I funded myself. Mm -hmm. These are gas tests, electrical sensitivity, seismic refraction, just to prove or disprove there is a fault. Because if there's really a fault on, uh, if the fault is the plant is built on the fault, then it should not be operated at all. But if the fault is some distance away, then it can be engineered. The design can probably withstand that. So it's a matter of scientific testing. I have the data, I'll, I'll want it open. Anyone who will claim otherwise should disprove the data that we have. Because once the fault moves, the fault is very deep. It's uh, several meters or hundred, maybe several hundred meters, maybe to a kilometer. So any, any time it moves, if you're on top of it, what you do to evaluate these things, you know? So if you're not on the fault, how, what, what is the minimum distance that you should have? It will depend on what we call the peak ground acceleration. You know? Because when, once a fault moves, there's going to be acceleration on the ground. Now the PGA, the pre-ground acceleration, you design on that. So for example, is the, is the plant, I think, designed to 0.4 G, mm -hmm. which means that it can resist seismic forces equivalent to 5 meters per second per second, or 4 meters per second per second. Now, uh, the closest fault uh, to, the, to the plant, if ever it exists, is the Lubang or the Lubao fault. You know? You can see it in the satellite photographs that there is indeed a, a, a linear structure. It is probably a fault. And then since if you have a nuclear plant, you know, uh, you, uh, that will raise alarms. You know? My perspective there is that draw the fault, verify where the fault is on the ground, so we will know exactly where it is relative to the plant. Once that's done, then we can test what's the maximum earthquake that can come from that fault. And typically, the maximum earthquake is proportional to the length of the fault. First, you have to establish it's active. PVOX has not even uh, has classified, hasn't classified it as active. In fact, if, in my opinion, they should be the one to have the final say on this. If there was an active fault, it's been closed for you know 20, 30 years. Uh, it should have ex expressed itself in the surface. None. Many countries in the world that have nuclear power are in the ring of fire. Japan has 55 nuclear plants, it's in the ring of fire. Taiwan has, in, it is in the ring of fire. A lot of Europe, uh, you know, not necessarily the ring of fire in, 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 in faulted areas, no? Uh, you know, in, in, in uh, South America, Mexico has. Uh, in the United States, in the, in the eastern side, in California, there are nuclear plants there. Okay. So uh, what's, what's the big deal about that? As long as you design it, ring of fire means only things. Ring of fire means volcanoes and earthquakes. Back to the first argument. Although the, the volcanic argument and the earthquake argument is, is a more specific application of ring of fire. BNPP is built on the eruptive and uh, 
sedimentary deposits of uh, Mount Natib, which is a uh, which is a, a stratovolcano, an active and, and you know quite a, a, a violent uh, a volcano in its time. How do I know this? If you go to the sides of uh, to, to the beach surrounding uh, BNTP, you see lahars, ancient lahars, pyroclastic flows. These are eruption products of, of a violent nature. If the volcano were active, then we have a, a strong you know argument to close the flat. But the two only the two data points that determine the age of the planet is at what? It's at uh, 70,000 or 60,000 years. That's quite a, uh, a long time. It's even older than Laguna de Bay, which is about 25,000 years. And people are not even aware that Laguna de Bay, which has produced all the adobe in Metro Manila, is a volcano. So again, you know, why use a geologic reason when you know it's weak? And this is what, this is my, you know, this is my, <laughs> Uh, my challenge to those who are opposed to the plant. Let's put all the evidence aside. Let's put ideology aside because this is science. What's the age of the volcano? What are the chances of it erupting? For the fault, what's the distance to the fault? What's the maximum earthquake? Well, this, these issues are measurable. There should be no emotions in this. A good example to use here in evaluating is uh, places like uh, Taiwan. Taiwan is, is a lot more tectonically active than us. But Taiwan has very, very low power rates. It's one of the most advanced countries in the world, right? And they have nuclear power. You know, as I've said, BNPP was never used. So people say it's old. It was never used. There are very few moving parts in a nuclear plant. So how can you say that it's old? You know, there are existing nuclear, there are 460 plus nuclear power plants in the world. We can get the median age of them. And then, you know, BNPP will probably be better designed than, than more than half of those. So, you know, what's the problem? And in the United States, they have far older plants that are being recommissioned and extended and extended because nothing has happened to the plant. Okay. Now, personally as a geologist, why am I for uh, nuclear power in the Philippines? I'm a geologist and then we look for mineral resources. We are, for example, the number one supplier of nickel in the world. And uh, nickel is used in stainless steel manufacture and uh, to make stainless steel you need three elements iron nickel and chrome we have the three elements in the philippines but we cannot even have a steel plant because power is expensive so we have to export 30 million tons of nickel ore to china and japan if power were cheaper we could process them here so can you imagine if we had our own steel industry it's insulting for the Filipino, that even the simplest nail has to be imported, and probably the ingredients of that came from the Philippines. This is the reason why I'm for nuclear power. Ask your relatives who are abroad, number one. What is the cost of power where you're working? Hmm? The cost of power relative to your take-home pay. And what is the cost of power here in our country to the take-home pay? That is a very important decision. That's number one. Okay. I see. Then, second, you can ask those uh, people in those countries, oh, uh, is there a nuclear plant uh, where you're working? Maybe you're not aware, but there's probably one. Mm -hmm. So, you feel safe working in a country with a nuclear plant. Why can't you uh, feel the same here? And would you agree to the insulting thing that the Philippines can't handle uh, technology? There are 10 million Filipinos abroad, of course. That's a mix of, uh, you know, uh, 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 seamen, maybe uh, domestic uh, workers, caregivers, but many engineers. I can tell you, if we build a good nuclear power plant with good pay, they'll come back. Ang kabilin-bilin ng kong kemisis kurasan akin ay pagpatuloy ang bataan nuclear plant kung maaari. Sapagkat ay, uh, I told her uh, this is the uh, solutions and meeting a country's energy demands and decreasing dependence on imported oil. Ngunit ay uh, ayaw niyang uh, tanggapin ang uh, aking uh, mungkay 
Kata maalala daw ng taong bayan si Marcos habang hindi dyan ang Batanyo Club pa. Anong klaseng pag-iisip niya? Kaya na yung pag-ihiganti, huwag natin idamay sa buhay ng Pilipino. Kanya tayo balang araw, makikita ninyo, 20 years from now, backstop na ang Pilipinas. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can visit our website bagonglipunan.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.